So just so you can see what I'm thinking, if you can see here, this has got an indentation where in the piece I got did not have it and the original did have an indentation. It actually came from here and put another one back here. So I had to do some modifications. I had to modif modify the bracket in there to undo the dimple that's not there. And like I say, sometimes you overcompensate. I got to add piece here. So when I do, I'm going to add this piece. I'll add it a little bit longer. And then what I'm going to do is bend it in, put the dimple right here, bend that piece in, bend it again, and fit it in right here. That's what I'm going to try. And I got to fill this piece. Cut off just a quarter inch. So I'll have to add that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a much bigger piece. That's right here. About twice of what I need. Add it in further. I'm going to ball peen this down. You know, dolly and hammer it. And then bend it up so it's got the same edge close as I can get to it. I need to cut right here because these two pieces are just slightly different. This one has the lip from the indentation. This one doesn't. So what I'm going to have to do is add it in here. Pull this out to match here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there you go. So, this one didn't have it. This one's got it. I'll cut this, pull this out, and fill this in. This I'll already make the indentation. And it should all look as close as I can get it to uh, like it belongs there. Hopefully, I'll get something close to this. I don't know how close I'll get it. I probably won't get the rounded edges. It'll probably be more squared off. But, uh, it's inside of the door. Nobody's going to see it. This side, I basically am just on the edge of the indentation here. Okay. Cut that piece out. This side, it's just on the edge of the indentation. So when I cut that in, It'll end and doesn't have the bottom piece here. So it'll look like it stops here. So that'll be good. Some of the things you got to work in. None of these panels ever fit 100%. You have to modify them a little bit. And if you screw up like I did and cut off too much. Because what I did was, I was thinking I had to cut off here. But then I measured from here to here, which the hinges are critical. Measuring where the hinges go in. Down here, down here. If I pull this in and shave this to get my angle, then these guys would be too close. So, got the piece I'm going to put back. See how it works. I'll let you know.